region. Correct, yes. Yes. So like this. So a skeleton will be like this. Okay, like this. See that. This is your core. Okay. So resources, their parameter, resources and their parameter. So now where do you find all the resources of AWS for the sake of it? So let's go to and ask AWS itself. Hey AWS, tell me where is your resources? So for that, I have to go to the documentations and left side, if you see that, a lot of you have resources. Now, I just said, right, you need to know AWS before coming to the Terraform. Uh, I mean, for the sake of it. So let's say what I want. So I want the compute service. These are the categories, okay? So compute, uh, I'm trying to locate. Elastic is starting with the E, right? Elastic cloud compute right now. EC2. Here it is. EBS. Here it is. Correct. So if you look at this, this category here also, there's so many resources you have. Look at this. So that's, that's the reason I said you should know what exactly you want. So what I want. So I came here, for instance. And here you, this is the resource AWS EC2 instance and here examples to how to use it. And then if you go down a little bit, look at the hundreds of arguments we have. So here this parameter, which I said, one, two, three, four is nothing but argument. Look at this here. It's a pretty huge list of arguments. Not everything is required. Uh, it's optional only. Okay. So this is the pattern you will follow. Are you understanding all of you? Yeah, it's clear. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So what to do? Nothing. Uh, because I know e EC2 instance AWS well, I know the required and optional parameters well. So I'll directly go and copy this. This is my coding. So how many instances I want? One. Okay. What type of instance AMIs? I have to decide actually. So let me log into uh, just a second. AMI is region specific. Remember that. So I have to copy this. Sorry. So I think this is the MIT, right? Yeah. So here I am using variables, but I'll hard code this. What is it? Uh, type macro tags and all. done. So your coding is done. Now, so this pro this this file I created for providers. I can put it up here only also. But you know, for better management. I will keep it. Uh, where is that? Hmm. So I'll I'll create a new file for AWS resources and s dot df and now I'll just paste it. See here. So now this coding is also done. Right now, I have just created one resources like that. You can feed hundreds of resources also. Okay. So now see the coding also done. Terraform installed, plugins installed. What do you need to do? Last one. You need to apply, right? Create. Yeah. Uh, so apply before that apply. You know what? There is a dry run command. So that command is plan. Plan will not make a changes. But it will tell you whether your set settings and all stuff like that are uh, good or not. I mean, which what resources will be created, what resources will not be created, and all. deleted, updated, and all stuff like that. Okay, so just try run the plan. It's for just for you know checking that if everything is good. And here you see that there is a, some problem. And the problem is there is a some problem in terms of coding standard. So they are saying, hey, put it up in this code like that you'll have to have an error and the more error you get you will learn more that's a good thing so wish for more errors if everything is working that means you're not learning now there is one more issues can you help me there are no parameters for authentication isn't it uh... huh. so here what is happening look at this here this provider is sending the call to the API of AWS, but API is saying, hey, I will not accept your call. Why? Because uh, you don't have authentication set. So now, guys, I told you there are 2,500 providers, different ways to set the authentications. 
So how to set the authentications to AWS? I will ask AWS only, hey, hey AWS, tell me how do I set the authentication? So this page, I should read it with a little bit calm mind. And you will see the authentication and configuration. These are the ways. One of the ways I'm going to use is hard coding ways. This is not recommended, but just I want to make the things easier. So what to do? Let me get the credential, client key and secret. You know that command line. And here, what I'm going to do in the provider itself, I'm going to hard code. This is not a good option, but I'm doing it. Why? Uh, because I want to be, uh, it's not a safe option, by the way, but I'm doing it because I just want, I want to complicate that, this, that, and best practices. So what is the reason for me is uh, US East one. And what is the keys which I have? So keys I have, uh, uh, just a second. So I'll create a new keys here. So how do we create a new keys? Uh, should be here. No? Uh, oh, oh, I think the keys are maximum. Two keys are allowed, I guess, right? Unfortunately, maybe. So let me delete the last one and one more key which I have. Let me delete this. I was not going to be honest. So two keys allowed. So I thought as many keys. Yeah. So I created this key. I understand the risk. And here, let me copy this key and password. Save it, come back, plan. Understood that? That's one of the ways. It's not a good practice to embed in the code. You can set the environment variable or the other ways also, but this is something. Now, Terraform is saying, hey, there will there'll be one uh, resource will be created, zero change and zero destroy. Do you want? So run a plan. Are you comfortable so far, all of you? Yeah, so let me apply now. Only one resources. It can be hundreds of resources in that file also. And it will ask you, hey, are you sure you want to continue? Oh, sorry, I canceled by mistake. Yes, I want. And now if you go to AWS here and go to this here. See that this this EC2 instance just now created uh, why this ah, so this here it is created now this is initializing you know hello world now what to what do you want you want to change this something so see you can change only through the terraform only the those things which is changed which is allowed by AWS so tax is allowed but these are the things not allowed so if you try to change this one it will destroy the resources and then create it mind it. Okay, so now this is done. So now you see that this is the code I wrote. I send it to the Terraform with apply and then apply Terraform sent to the plugins and plugin sent to the AWS and AWS will send a response, right? In a JSON format, which we call it state file. Where is the state file? So this is the state file. Here it, here it is. So it's a JSON format. You should not modify this file. If you want to interact it, just say show, okay? And you will be able to see that file through command line. It's easier. Now, what is IP address? I look at this here. This is the IP address of the VMC to create. Okay. So now, guys, this is the one which I got up and running. Now I want to modify something. So here you see, I just modify something, and now directly I'm doing the apply. Plan will tell me update, but apply also will tell you the okay, these are the update which is happening. And you see here, one to change, zero to destroy, zero to one. So this, whatever you are tag, you are changing, is done. And let's validate. See, hello world, refresh, hello world hyphen two. Understood now? So how to create, how to update, and finally, the last command, which you have to do is destroy. Spelling mistake, I guess. Yeah. 
So guys, the, yes, can you see that? So just imagine here if you have a multiple resources, different different kind of resources. So just like that, each resources their attributes, each resources their attributes like that. Are you understanding all of you? And let's refresh. See, it's gone. So, guys, any questions so far, all of you? This part is clear, Rajesh. I just got one question. Uh, in real life scenario, uh, you might have an account where you know multiple DevOps engineer might be working. So, do they get their own individual authentication details which they store on their machine? while they're pushing yes, the data for, yeah i think i think authentications will be separate for each individual that is how it is working and that that's how identity works uh maybe this uh, common keys also can be possible given to you so it's up to you if this you have a keys it will work for you but each users can create their own keys also and depends on the what they have access with uh, they will allow to do that but usually you would have a pipeline which will be uh, applying these commands huh. yeah 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 Jenkins pipeline. that's the reason we are writing a code right so right, we run right. everything through the code so that pipeline manuals. sorry Raja. so that pipeline would have the access to deploy these commands Correct. right yeah Correct. okay so now what i'm going to do uh, i'm going to use one more provider just for you for your demo so which provider so github so what to do in the GitHub? So go to the documentations. I'm going to create a repository. So how do we create a repository? I'm just searching for the resources. I'll read. I, I know that's so why I'm jumping directly, but you have to have that little bit of you know uh, patience. And I'm adding the same file. Uh, what do you want? Repository. This name of the repository, I'll make it unique because I know that so many repository I created. This is the description, visibility, public, template, I don't want, template of Git, GitHub, you should know GitHub well, and that's all. So this is the repository. Now I have to access, I have to give the access also. So I will ask uh, GitHub itself, hey GitHub, please tell me how can I authenticate? So GitHub has a documentations and your authentication, so many ways we have it. Token can be used. So here. Uh, token. So, can we push the token? Uh, I have to generate it. So, go for uh, GitHub and site setting and somewhere developer settings and personal pad token. And this I will delete it. Oh, I can regenerate also, right? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Regenerate token. And it will be easy, right? Copy this. And this is the token I given. That's all. Now, you know what? I don't want to create a repository in my own account, but some organizations. Which account I'm going to use it, which is here. Where is a uh, Temporary. This I use for the demo. So what is org ID? So org ID is this one. So the question is, how do I put my org ID? So I will ask uh, GitHub itself. Hey, how can I put organizations? So they say, hey, use our owner. Owner is equal to this one. So I read it and enter owner is equal to that. So these are the way you set this. Now, can I check this? So I destroy. So I am expecting two resources will be created. Uh, here, the one EC2 one more time because I destroy and GitHub registry. So directly apply. Auto approve. Also, you can do that. You don't have to press yes all the time. There are so many parameters are there. And yes, you see that two resources will be added. And yes. Now creating a repository. So can I go to uh, repository and see this is created just now. 
okay so and then easy to anyways i showed you thanks for watching want to study further join our training programs today